HCAM TV Sports presents Hopkinton High School Hockey, where tonight the Hillers will be taking on the Ashland Clockers. Hi, everybody. Mike Prade here with Mike Terosian. It's a Wednesday 5.30 start for the Hillers, and the Hillers with their 8-2 and two record, 16 points, just four points away from making the tournament, are going up against the Clockers, who are 2-6, and six with two ties on the season. Well, Mike, let's talk about what happened with the Hillers last week. Kind of a historic game. They beat the Westwood Wolverines out in Westwood by the score of two to one. And that is a victory for the Hillers for the first time since 2007, 2008, when they also beat the Westwood Wolverines two to one that year also. And I believe uh, both games were at Westwood. Yeah, they were. They were both at Westwood. Part two of that equation, Mike, is they just beat the Division II state champions also out there. Hiller's got to be a little careful tonight, Mike. You can kind of let down against a team like Ashland because in this first game of the season, of this season, the Hillers beat the Clockers 8 0. So you got to be a little careful. Yeah, it was a very lopsided game. Most of the, uh, most of the action was down in the Clockers zone over at Loring Arena. All right, the game with Westward, uh, Abbott and Finlayson both scored goals and assists. And uh, Dylan O'Leary had 32 saves in that game. And actually, he shut out Westwood after the first period. So it was a pretty good uh, game for Hopkinton all around. Like I said, first time they beat the Wolverines since 2007-2008. And this Hiller team now is four points away from making the tournament, something, of course, every team strives for but Hopkinton hockey has had its issues and I believe that 2007 2008 team uh, also was one of the first teams to make the, the tournament so uh, Hill is looking to keep track they need keep on track they need to have a victory against a team that really coached by Mike Roman of Ashland has had some issues this year and uh, we will see what's going to happen here tonight the Hillers and Clockers are awaiting the national anthem and the referee, one of the referees tonight, Mike, is Hopkinton owns Jeff Merzell, I believe. Sure looks like him from here anyway. And he is one of the referees. We don't have the referee of the other name, but there's Jeff. He is kind enough to referee the Hiller alumni game every year. And uh, so he is on the ice here against uh, for the Hiller Clocker game. Hopkinton with 16 points. They're six and two in the TVL. And we're going to listen to the national anthem. Would everyone please stand for the playing of our national anthem? All right, the national anthem here at the Naven Arena in Marlboro, Massachusetts, where the Hillers will be taking on the Clockers momentarily. In goal for Hopkinton tonight, Tim McGrath. He's 3-2 and two on the year. And he has a 1.8 goals against average on the season. And his counterpart on the other end is really a story for 
the clockers, Mike, it's Owen Barra. And uh, the reason I bring up Owen Barra is I'll give you some numbers. Tim McGrath had, uh, has faced so far 78 shots on goal and saved 69. Owen Beer for the Clockers, number one, has faced 265 shots on goal. That is just about 200 more shots on goal, and he has saved 239. He has always been tough to score upon, even though, I, as I said in the opening, the Hillers won the opener 8 nothing. He's a pretty good goaltender. All right, Hillers win a faceoff. One of the things I was talking about in the beginning was Hopkinton really has to be careful. This uh, Clocker team did lose the other, their last game to Medfield 3 nothing. so Medfield uh, pretty much handled the Hillers. And uh, so, you know, the, the Hopkinton really has to watch out. And I'm sure they want some kind of uh, payback for that opening day game. All right, in the zone, Ashland tries to skate out. They do. Mike Roman is a good coach, too. He, I'm sure his team will approve here. Simo is trying to chip it past the red line, and he does finally get it there as Ben Lason was going to chase it down. Now it rolls out of the zone. Everett Rolf dumps it in. The Hillers are offside, and they're going to change every player but Abbott. Cross ice pass it goes. One of the problems going to be tonight, of course, is Ashland has their numbers only on their back side, back uh, their shoulders, and that's it. They and they're uh, nothing else. So it'll be tough as they're coming out of the zone to see who's carrying the puck. But we'll do the best. Linquist now drives it behind the net. Coveney to the point shot and a save by Barrett. Tip down in front and he covers it for the first shot on goal of the night. The Hillers will stay with the same forwards. So will Pickens on one defense. And on the other side, of course, Dan Delaney, the captain. And Owen Delaney, Linquist, and uh, Jack Sloan. Check that we're in number nine. It's a shot from the point that goes wide. And Pickens is there, and he chips it down to Delaney. Delaney squares to the circle, takes a shot to save. It's loose in front. Now kept in by Pickens. Pickens throws it softly down the sideboard. And there to get it is Delaney. Now Linquist with it. Matt Linquist avoids the check. Goes back to the point. Pickens takes a wrist. It's on goal. And it's a save by Bira. The clockers cannot get it out. They tried to get it out with number seven, Trenton O'Connor, but he couldn't do it. And now Owen Delaney. Delaney, now it's chipped down the length of the ice. It will be icing if it makes the goal line, but it's not going to do it, and it's waved off by the referees. Dan Delaney now chips it out the center. Ashland is there as the Hills are changing their forwards. On the check is Karpensky throws it down, and Pickens has it. Avoiding the check is McCluskey. Mark McCluskey is just, now it's on goal and a save, and it goes into the top of the netting near the air conditioning unit and stops play with 12.31 to go here in the first period. Uh, the Hillers and Clockers with no score. And the face-off circle comes Karpensky and Ashland wins it. And, but they can't get it out as McCluskey comes down and pinches. Now they're there to help out as Karpensky, little Karpensky. The senior forward. He has it on the stick. Now it's a rolling puck. He has it. And here's Delaney up ice. And here to get us Saporosius. Saporosius has a rolling puck now and he gets behind the net. Karpensky avoids the check, but Clockers clean it up pretty nicely and they get out of the zone. Here comes number 20, Jack Merrill. Merrill has the puck now. Merrill. Battling down one of the captains. And cross ice it goes to Karpen uh, to uh, McCluskey to Karpensky. Avoids the check. Shot and a goal. Karpensky roofs it and he gives the Hillers a 1 0 lead. Well, at the 11 40 mark, Hopkinton jumps out on front 1 0. Third unit for Hopkinton 
Put a lot of pressure down there and Hopkinton gets it. I don't know, maybe it wasn't Karpinski. The referees had to get another puck. There's a shot and a save by Barry. He watches it behind the net. And typically when the referees get another puck, Mike, it means somebody just got their first goal. I know uh, McCluskey doesn't have a goal. So if he got it, and he wears number 14, so I could have been mistaken on that. But we'll let you know between periods. Everett Rolf now wrist on goal, saved by Bearer with the stick. It chips onto the right side now as Billy Allen comes down and fills, and uh, Cam Finlayson fills shot. It goes wide, bounces over the stick, a bad as buck, high stick against Hopkinton, but it's waved as Ashland touches it. And they, Finlayson does a nice job. He picks the pocket of one of the clockers, now a bouncing puck on goal, and Bearer has to make a save. Abbott now chases in the corner. He's tied up with Casey Rosen. And the clockers will be called for icing as Rosen tried to get it out of trouble. They may launch it down the length of the ice. 10.43 to go in the first period. The Hillers leading 1-0. Scored about three minutes into the period. And it'll be a face-off now inside the clocker zone. It was another issue for the clockers when they met the Hillers the first game of the season. The face-off win percentage for Hopkins must have been huge. I don't have a stat for it, but it was up there. Uh, Steele has a shot and a save by Beera. He's in the right spot every time. Owen Beera, the senior goaltender. Here's Pickens now. Keeps it in, throws it down. Linquist now looks up at the cross ice. Tip and try goes wide. Nice try. Wraparound is no good. And trying to get it out, but the clockers can't. And this was a familiar sight. The bigger rink, uh, Mike, in uh, Framingham there at Loring, uh, really hurt Ashland in that game. A shot that goes wide, and Pickens will have it, and the Clockers will change a couple of players. There's Pickens skating up ice. He gives it to Sloan. Sloan now takes a shot, and glove saved by Barron, and it stops play. Now, I... I, I I don't know your opinion, but I think Framingham is larger, right? It is a it is a bigger rink um, compared to these MDC rinks or whatever, yeah. right? MDC. Does anyone say that anymore? I don't know. <laughs> it's like a foreign language, right? Right. Uh, Karpensky now has a, tries to throw a pass out in front. Temple was there, but he couldn't get his stick on it. Now it's still loose in front, and trying to clean it up is Trent and O'Connor. Connor ha O'Connor has it now. Avoids the check. And he comes out of the zone, and they enter the Hiller zone. It's a shot on goal, and there's a save by McGrath. And there's Saparochus now, Nick Saparochus, the senior forward, looking for his first goal of the year. And the clockers trying to set something up, and their coaching staff is yelling, Skate with the puck. One of the things that's been a constant in this 2015-2016 season for the Hillers is their team speed. Yeah, my few years of doing this with you, Mike, this seems to be the fastest team I've seen. Yeah, and it's one of them in all the years I've been doing this, and I want to say I've been doing this for at least 10 years, and there's a shot and a save. A glove save goes off the glove. Oh, and Hill's got lucky there. Clockers were in good position now. They dump it in. Ashland has to check up on side. 8.15 to go first period. Hiller's leading 1-0. Saparosius now tried to chip it up. He couldn't get it now behind the net. And goes Connor Delaney. Delaney throws it up in a tip out. Try doesn't work though as Abbott now gets the center. And Will Abbott with 16 points on the season as a whistle. And there is going to be men? too many men on the ice. I think you're right. Yeah, that wasn't a pretty change. Yeah, sometimes that happens in uh, both professional hockey and you know, the amateur hockey is you throw it towards the bench when teams are changing. Referees have a hard enough time counting numbers of players. Now the clockers now will go on their first power play. Serving the penalty will be Steven Simos. 
as he takes a sit. Too many men on the ice is the call against the Hillers. Face-off win by Hopkinton, and Allen cleans it down the length of the ice. And Beer is going to leave it for his man. Abbott puts a fake move on Jackson Horning. Horning was not in the lineup when the Hillers met the Clockers the first time, and he's a freshman. And uh, in that, the Clockers, I, I should have said, their last game, they beat uh, Marion Keefe Tech. They've combined a team together. And I know the freshman, Horning, got one goal for the Clockers. All right. They're trying to set up their power play. Allen now chips it off the board, but it comes right back to him now. There together is Rolf. Rolf has it taken away by Eric Anderson. It's loose in front, and McGrath will cover the puck with 42 seconds to go on the clocker power play and 7-10 to go here in the first period. Hopkinton leading 1-0. Goal at the 11:40 mark of this period, and that's all the scoring so far. In the face-off circle is Eric Linquist. Yes, I did it again, Mike. Every yeah, game, you do it Matt every Linquist. Game. <laughs> That's what happens when you've been doing these too long. And there's a penalty, and I think Hopkinton is going to go. I think Hopkinton is going to have another man short into the box now. Dan Delaney. Plus, it doesn't uh, help that interference. You sorry, Mike. Interference against Delaney. Go ahead. Uh, plus, it doesn't help that you coach the kids in uh, Little League, <laughs> too. Yeah. And that's the one you remember. All right. So, for 31 seconds, there will be a two man advantage. And there's going to be a timeout, I believe, yep. by the Clockers because they really want to set something up to try to get a goal here. 31 seconds to go in the too many men on the ice penalty, which Steven Simos is serving. And Dan Delaney is in for a minute 36.58 to go in the first period. And this Hiller team, as we fans will know, just four points away from making the tournament. And, uh, Mike, while well, we got a break here, I don't know the last time I could say this either, but the Hillers are in second place in the TVL. Of course, Medfield with their 8-0 record. Medfield actually is 11-0 on the season. They're 8-0 in the TVL. TVL. And one of the stats that's truly amazing is uh, Medfield has uh, scored 41 times, Mike, and only given up six goals in 10 games. Very impressive. That, that is a problem for other teams in this league. And it's it's... Quite enjoyable for me, in it particular, watching this team for so also, many years. It would also be nice to know, is it all defense or is it the goalie? Well, it's a combination of everything. Because yeah. when uh, you only give up six goals, yeah. as Medfield has done on the season. Offense controlling the puck most of the time. <laughs> all right, so we're in a five-on-three situation. Ashland has it. Rister that goes wide. Now to look in the setup. There's 10 seconds to go in the two-man advantage. There to get it. It's a, a block in front by Pickens on the shot by Horning, the freshman. And it, he knocks it down, keeps it in. Hiller's trying to get it out, and they do. They do get it down. Nice clear. And the, the penalty that Simos was serving is over. He comes and races back to try to pick the puck, and he does. And he has checked as he tried to advance the puck forward. 45 seconds to go on the power play now for the Clockers. They enter the zone. They tried to enter the zone, but the Hillers. We're right there to stop it, Connor Delaney. Connor Delaney, Will Pickens with Abbott and Simos up front. And 24 seconds ago in the power with bouncing puck that goes wide. Trying to get it is Dan O'Coin. O'Coin now throws it in front. Oh, and a, a, oh, another chance there by the clockers. And they unfortunate that that puck bounced and hit one of their own men. Five seconds on the power play. And Hopkinton will launch it down as Simos clears it from the rolling puck, and the penalty is over to Delaney. So it's five on five hockey, and Ashland had a glorious chance. They had two chances in front. I think McGrath got a save, and then uh, the clock has hit somebody else. Now a steal. And down co comes uh, Spencer Coveney. Coveney back on defense a couple of games ago now. He's with 
paired up with Zach Horgan. And now out of the zone comes the captain, number 10, Eric Anderson. The Hillers are there, chipped in by Abbott. And now Finlayson with some powerful skating. He has it, avoids two checks. Now he avoids the man. Now he spins, takes a wrister. It's a shot, and it's blocked down in front. I'm not sure if Hopkinton actually touched that. Oregon now stops the puck. He chips it on the backhand down low. And there to get it is to try to help out his Abbott. And Oregon keeps it in. Nice keep in on the board there. Bouncing puck. Finlayson throws it in front, but it's cleaned up in front by Rosen. And it's loose in front. Now Ashland will come out. Allen is back along with Horgan, so the defense is there for the Hillers. And there's a, there's a chipped out the center ice here from Mason with speed, voids the check, but he has his pocket pick by George Bocelli. And he puts pressure on the puck, and Jackson Horning now, the freshman, it's a steal. And the Hillers are going to be offside, so they got to check up. Now they do get onside. 3.53 to go in the first period. The Hillers leading 1-0. Kluski knocks it down, now he gets to Karpensky, but it's a hand pass as it was in the offensive zone as he knocked it forward. And the clock stops and the hand pass means that the faceoff will come inside the Hiller zone. Into the center ice position for the clock as Bocelli wins it, slap shot, oh, that's knocked down in front. Oh, a tip-in try that went wide, almost. Eric Anderson now squares to the circle, but there to get it is Saparosius. Saparosius now, if they hurry, it'll be a three-on-two. Saparosius goes wide, now he voids a check. Now he has a backhand, a shot, and it's a save by Bira. Good rush up ice. McCluskey now backhands it to Allen. Allen throws it, tries to throw it down, but it's intercepted. He comes back to defend. Billy Allen cross ice. He has Saparosius, and there's going to be an offside, actually against the Hillers. 3.08 to go first period. The Hillers leading 1-0. Hopkinton trying to get to 18 points with this game. They have 16 points after 10 games, which really, I, I, I don't remember that ever happening. You know, not to jinx the team, but a disaster would have to happen <laughs> to not make it. Although worse things have happened in sure sports. Is. Hillers, next couple of games are going to be at Dover Sherborne on Saturday, and then the next HCAM game will be against Acevet here on the 27th of January. Well, steal. Now it's kept by Linquist. And that Linquist throws it down. And back to the point to Pickens. He gets himself squared up, takes a slap shot to save by Beer. It's loose in front. There's another shot and another save by Beer. Owen Bira, as he was, and it's hard to hard to say in an eight nothing game, but he was really good against the Hillers the first time. Yeah, there was like sixty shots or something. As I said in the opening, he has faced going into tonight two hundred and sixty five shots on goal. And to give you an idea what that means, Dylan O'Leary has five wins and no losses. He's only faced 113 shots. So he's only played five games. And here's a break in now for Finlayson. Finlayson, nice pass to Abbott. Abbott takes a shot, it goes wide. Nice pass by Finlayson. Cam Finlayson has really played well all season so far. And he loses the handle on it. And he's gonna get it back. Chip it to Abbott. They are a nice combination, those two. He gets it, tries to give it back to him, just over, shoots him, but it's a slap shot that goes over the net and by uh, Coveney. And it's a tie up on the board. Simos helps out. And it gets over this, the blue line and out, but the Hillers dump it back in, but now they're going to have to get on side. Dan O'Coin dumps it on goal and McGrath will tie things up. And there was a snow shower at the end of that. I think the Hills took exception to it, but I don't, I'll be truthful, I don't think 
the skater was good enough to stop himself, although he is getting talked to by the referee. Right. That puck was covered, whistled, and then the snow shower about a second later or so. In the pro game, he would have been knocked down easily. Bouncing puck, almost nicely scooped off the ice by McGrath. If I'm not mistaken, that was the same skater when he entered the ice for warm-ups. He didn't even make it to the red line, and he fell and almost took out a referee. <laughs> so, could have been. Yep. Right, Face-off win by the clockers now. Coveney now gets it off the board, and he has trouble with it. But it's intercepted by Merrill. Merrill throws it behind the net. Merrill has it, has it tries it in front. Tip and try. Well, Ashland has definitely improved their play from when we last saw the mic. Absolutely. This game was out of reach in the first period in Framingham when they met. 26 seconds to go in the first period. And there's only one goal, and that's Hopkinton getting it. One of the other stats that I found pretty interesting is um, Hopkinton had a little bit of an issue with Holliston when they played them. Um, and I think uh, the Clockers barely lost to them. Here's a break in now by Lindquist. Lindquist tries a shot, but he fans on the attempt. Out to the point, it comes out, it goes, it'll be icing. And with seven seconds to go, it'll be a face off inside the Clocker zone. Time for a, a win and a faceoff, but it's won by Ashland. And the period's going to end with the Hillers leading 1 0. So, a good first period. Hopkinton came out at the 11.40 mark or so and got the first goal of the game. And at the end of period number one, it's 1 0. And we'll be back with second period, second period action in just a moment. All right, we get ready for second period action with the Hillers leading 1-0, and that goal did come at the 11.40 mark of the first period, and that was Will Karpensky who got it in his third goal of the year. He was assisted um, by uh, Mark McCluskey and Everett Rolfe, and so that's where we stand. The shots on goal total was 10-7 in favor of Hopkinton, and, and really, I was talking to Eric Carty, who's kind enough to give us stats all season. He and I were both in agreement. And up until the last three or four minutes of the game, Ashland had only one shot on goal, so they picked up like six in the last four minutes or so. And so that's where we stand. It's one nothing to Hillers. And as we watch the Hopkinton team skate from our right to left as we stand facing the scoring box. No, sorry, the, uh, uh, the uh, players' uh, benches. Rolf now dumps it in deep, but it's intercepted by Horning. Horning now tries to get out of the zone. They do. They're going to break out, but the Hillers are right there to keep it in. Good keeping by Billy Allen as he raced over to keep it in. Well, Hopkinton now putting pressure on Abbott. Abbott with the puck. Now it goes to the point. Allen throws a backhand. It's knocked down, and now Ashland will get out of the zone, and they will have a three on two if they hurry, but they can't control the puck. Now they get it in. Shot that goes wide. And there's a shot that's blocked down front. And around the net it goes. Allen now picks it up. And he has it to Abbott. Abbott tips it up center. And here comes uh, Simon. Simon shot and a save by Bear. A pad save. Good low shot. Abbott avoids the check now. Looking for a defenseman. He throws it to Karpensky. Karpensky's got the goal. He throws it over the goal. And he takes a risk. A shot and a save by Bear. He steers it into the corner. Now Delaney. Owen Delaney throws it in front goes off the stick and now out of the zone it comes back to race in is number 10 Eric Anderson took, puts a sh shot towards the goal but it's intercepted by the defense for Hopkinton and it's tipped forward there to get it is Horning Horning now avoids a check he was not on the team in the first meeting he was added number 17 Jackson Horning the freshman is an offside against the Hillers we've just started period number two it's one nothing Hopkinton these two teams met at the beginning of the season, game one, and Hopkinton won that game eight to nothing. 
And in that game, J.H. Vokey had five goals. I haven't seen him on the ice tonight, so not sure if he's hurt. But he has not played. I didn't see his number anywhere out there. is out of the zone and trying to get it in deep is 18 Casey Rosen. Rosen throws it down, but Hopkins is there to get it, but they can't get it out of the zone. That's kind of a missed pass. Karpensky has to come back and defend, and he does a nice job there picking up a man. Up ice it comes. Here's Linkless. Now he gets in, takes a shot, and a save by Beery. Paddles it in the corner. He is a calm, cool goalie for a guy that's facing that many shots. Well, here he is, Vokey now. He avoids a check, and the puck is taken away. And down ice it goes. And McGrath leaves it for the Hillers, and that up the board and not out. Now it's chipped out. Vokey does get it out, and the it, clockers are offside. Face off in the neutral zone. And then the face off was won by Hopkinton. Horning now chips it forward, but it's intercepted by Delaney. Delaney chips it in and out it comes. And there's a new player on the Hopkinton team, and I'm sorry we don't have his number. Number 13 for the Hillies on the right wing there. And we will try to find that out. Should have asked Eric Carty who 13 is. We'll get it next time. Here, here he comes, whoever he is. And to Vokey. Vokey has a pocket, hits a post. And intercepted. Vokey chips to center. Tried to get Saparochis. Ashton was there, and it's chipped in by Bocelli. Walt dumps it off the sideboard. Here's Volke now. He's trying to get a rolling puck. And the clockers get it to center. Here's George Bocelli, the junior forward. Tries a backhand. It was defended by Allen. Nice play by Billy. Solid defensive play. And he's there to cover up the front of the net there, too. Clockers now doing a nice job keeping it in. It's two on one. Backhander saved by McGrath on the pad. And dumped the center and out it comes. And good play by Beer as he cleared the front of his net. And the Hillers are going to be offside. They better check up back here. High shot off the top of the glass. And Steven Simos puts pressure on, checks his man. Van Lason throws it off the side. There's a slap shot from the point, goes wide. I think it was tipped in front. Van Lason to Simon's shot, saving a chip in goal. Goes in, and I believe Karpensky's going to get that one also. And he got congratulated, and the Hillers take a 2 0 lead. Well, the Hillers' speed now on that puck was super, Mike. It really was. They put pressure. Beer couldn't be in both spots at once, and so the jam shot by Karpensky, I believe, got it. That's what I saw from my angle. All right, the killer's now 2-0 with 10.08 to go in the second period. There's another shot and a save, and a glove save by Beer as he reached out and snagged it out of the air. off inside the clocker zone. And Hopkins is going to be chased. And it's won by the clockers, but the Hillers take it back. Now the clockers throw it out to the point. Pickens, slap shot, goes over the net. And down the length of the ice, and the Hillers are, and the clockers are going to get called for icing. And for some reason, And the 
regular players slammed his stick. Backhander in front goes through the crease. It's taken it down by Karpensky. Karpensky throws it down deep. There to get it is Cole Taddeo. And Taddeo has it taken from him. Now Linquist. Linquist shot and a save. A wrap around, try through the crease. Another save. To the point. Karpensky. Cross ice. Pickens. Slap shot. And a glove save. Uh, so check that out. In the body save by Barra. Ashland's going to miss him, Mike, next year. Absolutely. Owen Berry, he's a senior. You know, I, I, I know I'm talking a lot about him between the two games, but I'm totally impressed by the kid. That's what's keeping the score up being double digits at the moment. Well, I think it would have been double digits in the first meeting, too, if it Absolutely. wasn't for him. Yep. And then back to get it now is Connor Delaney. He's helped out by Linquist. Linquist gets it now. He's looking up ice. And he throws across ice. He tried to hit. Owen Delaney coming out of the zone, but it just was a little bit behind him. Bocelli ties up Delaney. And there's a big check by Dan Delaney. And he buried the freshman. Welcome to varsity hockey, Mr. Horning. And he was put in a bad spot one of his, by one of his players, actually. And there's a break in now. Here's Anderson. He is checked off the puck by Connor Delaney. And Clockers keep it in. Throw it down to the goal line. Anderson now, and now coming to get his Horning takes a shot, goes off the glove of McGrath. Off the sideboard. Bokey now doesn't see it, but he finally chips it to center. He gets it out. Owen Delaney. And chip to center. And Rolf gets it now. Everett Rolf. Up ice, and it's going to be icing against him as he tried to hit our very famous number 13. Well, if you weren't doing double duty, Mike, I'd ask you to text Eric. <laughs> get his name. <laughs> I am not that good. <laughs> yeah, take the camera. I'll text him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 8.04 to go in the second period. Hill is leading 2 nothing. He had a first period goal by Karpensky, and I believe he got the second period goal also. Saparosius avoids the check. He's tripped, and it's going to be a penalty against the clockers. And they're trying to get Tim McGrath's attention. He doesn't realize it's going to be a penalty. Now he realizes it, but it's too late. Ashland touches it. And there's a tripping penalty against... And the Clockers and the Hillers will have their first power play. Ashland in the first period had a five on three. And to the penalty box goes Dan O'Coin, one of the captains. So five on four hockey now for the Hillers. Abbott to Simos, back to Abbott behind the goal line. He stops a rolling puck to the point it goes to Rolf. Rister on goal. But towards the goal, rather, goes wide. Karpensky comes down, and, and Simos fills the spot. Even Simos, a defenseman anyway, and having to play forward for Hopkinton. Kept in by Finlayson. Finlayson, Rister, oh, over the goal. Tried for the top shelf. He didn't have it. And now a breakout. Karpensky covers his man. Rolf picks up the puck. 55 seconds to go in the Hiller power play. They lead 2 to nothing. As Abbott now comes in. Abbott. Gets into the circle, throws it in front. Bear covers it. And a stoppage of play. And it'll be uh, a that would that'd be Cap from Simos. His last name is Cap. Okay. Thank you for uh, the uh, tweets <laughs> from Eric Cardi. Oh. I, I, can tw I can tweet them. I can look at the tweets, but I can't, uh, I can't text. So how did he know we were looking for that name? No, I just looked up their, uh, oh. the Hill of Hockey uh, Twitter page. Oh, okay, cool. Technology is a wonderful thing. Well, I get the uh, numbers from MassHockey.com, or MassHighSchoolHockey.com, and that number wasn't on there. Oh, maybe on the JV roster. <laughs> uh, Hockey now trying to mount a little charge here with 
15 seconds to go in their power play. Abbott now throws behind the net. Rolf, I mean, uh, check that, it's Simos. Rister from Karpensky shot, uh, tipped in front wide, wide open net. Oh, and a stuff and try, oh, and it was saved oh by one of the defensemen, or the skaters now, and out of the zone. Oh, and they just hit it. Oh, and that was the defenseman, Jackson oh. Horning, who just saved a goal. Oh, wide open net, and he stuck a stick there. And Finlayson throws it hard around the board. Here's Abbott now chasing the puck. Here's Abbott, he's in the zone. He gets it before it goes to the goal line. He avoids a check, looking for Hiller. In front, loose. Puck is now controlled by Pickens. Pickens in front, still loose. There it is in front. Abbott shot, he misses the net. Now, Finlayson. Rister, shot, and a glove save by Beer, and he hangs on. Slam stick by the same Hiller player. Yeah, he must have a couple of those. Aren't they only like about three, four hundred dollars a piece? The wrist shot that goes over the net. Hiller's now mounting some pressure now to the point. Jack Sloan with it at the circle, takes a shot, and a glove save, and it goes off the glove and goes behind the net. The Hillers are swarming now. Delaney, Owen Delaney with the puck. To the point, Pickens, slap shot, on goal and a glove save. Goes into the corner. Allen keeps it down the sideboard. Sloan comes over and gets it now. He has it, throws it in front. He tried to hit Lindquist who couldn't get there, but Allen keeps it and he chips it off the sideboard. There to get it is Jack Sloan. He reverses, now gets to the circle. Looking for an opening. Now goes back to the point to Pickens. Pickens throws it back to Sloan. Sloan. The zone time for the Hillers here in this possession is tremendous. Tipped in front, and Bear is going to stop play with a whistle. Two, with 4.33 to go in the second period. That was a one-sided, what, minute and a half or so, Mike, at least. Hillers leading 2-0. First period goal and a second period goal. That's where we stand. As we mentioned, and the fans who know the team, these two teams met in the first game, and Hopkinton won it one, uh, uh, eight to nothing. And Ashland's cleaned up their game a little bit. Here's Anderson now. He races in, but uh, uh, Coveney is back as a shot and a save. Boki can't get it out of the zone. Now he does. He's checked off the puck. And Boki with it. And he gives it back. Delaney up ice, he tried to hit Saparos and it's gonna be icing against the Hillers. With 3.58 to go in the second period. And the Hillers leading two to nothing. Hopkinton in the TVL is six and two. Uh, check that, um, they are, yeah, six and two in the TVL. They're eight and two overall. With 16 points. Ashland now putting some pressure on Simos has to come down and try to chip it out. He can't, but it does get out. And there's a break in from Finlayson, but good defense by the freshman. Well, this freshman, Jackson Horning, is getting a lot of playing time. And there's an icing against the clockers. I'm not sure if he was on the team at the beginning, but I know he wasn't on their first game roster that we, when the Hillers played them. He is now. And the newspaper had him scoring two goals, but Mass Hockey, HighSchoolHockey.com had him only getting one. Slap shot on the point goes wide, and a, it's off the back of the net. Hopkins Finlayson pops it off the net, now out of the zone from the clockers. Everett Rolf chips at the center, and out it comes. And here comes Finlayson. Finlayson with Abbott. Finlayson's going to be offside as Abbott got in ahead of the play. And just got over the blue line, and it was an offside because we're standing right over the blue line. I even saw it from here. <laughs> and there's a whistle, and the clockers. And 
and uh, Hopkinton now controls it. There's a shot that goes behind the net there to get it is Owen Bellini. Owen, the sophomore forward. A twin. And with Lindquist. Lindquist puts on the brakes, looking for a man to get open, but he takes it himself. Backhander, it's blocked in front by a clocker defender, and they knock it to center. Allen, though, will throw it right back in. Hopkinton is offside. Now they check back up. Looks like it's going to be a penalty. And to the penalty box is Ashland. Going to a roughing penalty. So the Hills will be on their second power play as they lead 2 nothing with 2.25 to go. Into the box goes Dan O'Coin again. That's his second one. And the Hills will be on the power play here. And face off one by the Hillers. Abbott up to the top. Rolf tries to get it open. He gives it back to Abbott. Abbott gets to the circle. Cross ice it goes to, Karpens uh, to uh, Karpensky. Yeah, and he takes a shot and it goes off the goaltender, I think. And now it's controlled. Finlayson takes a shot and Bira makes a save, a body save. One thing, Mike, and you noticed it too, is Owen Bira squares himself up to mostly every puck that's shot at him. Right. He's, uh, yeah, he, he doesn't take his eye off that puck for anything. And uh, it's incredible how good his vision is through all the traffic in front of his crease. And the Hillers are going to get chased again out of the circle. And Mason got chased, but the Hillers win the faceoff. Rolf now throws it hard down as a penalty, a slash. And to the penalty box, Will Abbott will go, so that'll even up things. And then, and 24 seconds, the clockers will have a power play. It's the four on four skating, which is always fun. That opens up the ice a lot. It does. Well, Simos now comes out of the zone, gets the red line, avoids a check, gives a nice pass to Finlayson. Finlayson tries to shuttle it through one of the clockers, but he was there to meet him. And now they have plenty of time, but the Hillers are pressing. Casey Rosen now gets it out to Horning. Horning gets to the blue line, but Karpensky has it taken. Horning now takes a shot and a save. It's loose in front, but it's cleared aside by Rolf, who's right in the right spot. Now the Hillers look to break out. Cross ice, they go. Simos with a rolling puck. Simos at the circle, takes a shot. That's a save, and it goes into the netting as Bira had to make a block or save with a minute and 18 seconds to go in the period. The Hillers leading 2-0. Four on four hockey is happening now as 24 seconds will elapse, and then the caucus will go on a brief power play. The Hiller penalty kill this year has, has been 19 for 24. And pretty good. There's a break in now. Horning, though, is defended by Abbott. Uh, sorry, Delaney. Owen Delaney. Here's Allen. Comes down deep. Voids the check. To Pickens. To Allen. Allen. Cross ice. The penalty is over to the clock. It's a shot. It's blocked in front. Owen Delaney chips it. And now it's five on four for about 15 seconds. Up ice it goes, but it's defended nicely by Allen. He throws it hard down the glass, and it rolls off the top of the glass. The glass meets the shelf. Delaney now. 30 seconds ago, penalty is over to Hopkins, so it's now back to five on five. Abbott comes out of the box. And it was a brief two on one, but great defensive back check by Everett Rolf. He's been everywhere tonight on the ice. He's done a nice job. And out of the zone it comes. Here's Lindquist. Matt Lindquist drop pass shot. Goes over the net. Well, you don't get any points for hitting the glass. There's a shot. Rister in front. Backhand attempt in front by Lindquist is stopped with one second to go in the second period. The Hillers leading 2-0. A 
to get something forward here, but you've got to try to win it forward. And it does get forward, and that'll do it, though. Well, another goal gets scored in the second period, and the Hillers lead 2-0. And we will be back with third period action in just a moment. All right, the Hillers get ready to start the third period with the Clockers, and the Hillers are leading 2-0. There was a goal in that period, and it was at the 10-11 mark, and it was scored by Will Karpensky, his second of the game. Abbott and Simos with assists there, and uh, we get to the bottom as a, we're laughing because we got to the bottom of who number 13 is. Well, number 13 usually wears number 17. That's Alex Koshev, but he forgot his jersey. And so they keep a spare jersey. And then uh, the reason we thought the, his name was Carp and brought up from JV. Go ahead, Mike. Well, it's because it was tweeted. And, of course, you only have 130 characters on Twitter. And you can't spell out Karpensky and not have enough letters for the rest of the words. So we assumed <laughs> that Carp was a new player. Yeah. And, uh, but anyway, so it's Alex Koshev wearing number 13. And, again, thank you, Eric Caddy. Yep. <laughs> It was kind of funny. And the shot on goal total in that period was the Hillers. It really was one side of that period, 17-4. So for the Hillers with 27 and the Clockers now with 11. And as we start the third period, the Hillers looking to add to their point total on the season. They have 16. And in theory, you could make the tournament this week. The next game for Hopkinton will be at Dover Sherborne on Saturday. And a Ralph shot towards the goal, saved by Bera. And Simos with the puck, now he gets ridden off the puck, but he keeps it now, gets it back, tries to go to the point, he does, he hits Allen. Allen back to Simos. Simos now cross ice, it goes to Rolf, goes under a stick, he throws it hard down to the goal line, and pinching in is Allen. Billy tips it to the top, but he couldn't get it to Simos in time. Steven now has to come back and he leaves it for Rolf. Rolf cross ice to Allen, tips it up to the center, but Allen uh, kicks it to himself and then gives it to Finlayson. Finlayson at the circle. Avoids the check, takes a shot, and goes wide, I think. Finlayson now skating around, goes cross ice to Rolf. Rolf takes a shot on goal and a save. And it's launched down the length of the ice. It's going to be waved off for icing, so. Everett Rolf will get it. Everett Rolf, the junior defenseman, throws it up ice, tips off of an Ashland stick, so it's no icing. And Delaney now, Owen comes down and checks his man, and Linquist ends up with the puck. Mac Linquist now avoids the check. He's double teamed. He throws it to Delaney, tries to go to the point with it, but it's taken away. But Linquist ends up, and now to the point it goes. Cross ice to Pickens. Pickens to the circle, takes a shot and a save, and it's hung on to by the goaltender Owen Bira. We've just started period number three. The Hillers leading 2 0. Hopkinson trying to keep their win streak going here. They did beat Westwood. And as we said in the opening, they beat Westwood 2 1, and it's the first time. The Hillers have beaten Westwood since 2007, 2008. There's a shot that goes over the net. So it's an impressive thing. One time prior to that, they came close. They tied it. There's a shot and a save by Bira. And it's Karbensky bidding for his hat trick. Play at center ice. Jack Sloan dumps it in. Voki now goes and check, goes to get it. Voki now makes it, man, hits a shot and a save. Oh, check that. Did that go in? Yeah, it's in the net. Oh. Yeah, it was a goal. Wow. Unassisted goal by Voki. I, I didn't see that going. I beg your pardon. But it is the third goal, and J.H. Voki gets it. He took a shot, looked like Bira had it, but it got picked out of the net after the pile cleared in front, and the Hillers take a 3-0 lead. Voki 
now with his 10th goal of the season. He's got a total of 12 points. Slap shot's blocked in front as Coveney tried to jack one from the blue line. The wrister gets blocked down in front by Dan Delaney. And out of the zone it comes. Volke now puts a stick into the <laughs> legs of an Ashland player. We got away with a net. A glove save there as Jack Merrill for the clockers took a shot. Jack Merrill, a freshman also. There are three seniors on the clocker roster. One of them is their goaltender. So there's, a, fu there's a future for the clockers. And out of the zone, Simos, he gives it. There's a shot and a save. Finlayson bid for the top corner. And he was denied by Bera. Coveney now tries to throw it in. He does get it in. Cross ice it comes. There's a nice avoided sh uh, shot by, uh, and that's uh, Horning. He's got a good, he's a good, good player. I wonder where he came from. Oh, almost a two-on-one breakout. Clocker's got good defense by Bocelli as he reached in and kept that from being a two-on as a whistle. And I think the puck went into the netting, so it'll be a face-off inside the Hiller zone. With 11.04 to go in the game, the Hiller's leading 3-0. Two goals by Will Karpensky, and now one by J.H. Fokey. Face off one by the clock as they chop it in front, and now McGrath has to just pounce on it and put his glove over it. Yeah, that thing was just dribbling across the front of the crease, and it was a smart move. And face off one by the Hillers. Allen now reverses field. Rolf is there to get it on the goal line, and he looks to get it up ice, and he does. Good pass. And here's a break, and Linquist now voids a check, but he. Did by doing that, brought his man on the right wing offside as Sloan couldn't hold the blue line. And now faceoff comes outside the Hiller zone. It's won by Hopkinton. Billy Allen now gains the red line, throws it in hard around the net. Owen Delaney now rides it along the board, throws it down, but Ashland is there to meet it and they chip it out. And it will be icing if it gets the goal line. And it will. No, it's waved off. The referees felt that Hopkinton could have played that if they skated towards it. And here's Sloan. Avoids the check of uh, Cole Tadeo. Tip in front and a stick save by Owen Bira. Linquist now throws it down low. There to get it is Bocelli for Ashland. He chips it hard up and off the board. And there, Eric Anderson tries to get it out, but he can't. Bocelli now throws it down. He's checked into the board by Linquist, and out comes Ashland. Ashland falls as they try to get into the zone, but they do get enough on it to get it down to the goal line. Karpensky puts on the brakes. He has it taken from him, and it's taken by Anderson, and now taken back by Pickens. Now Anderson takes it back. He shoved from behind, and both players are on the ice. And out in front is a shot and a save. Oh, great, good play by McGrath as he held the post. Tim is three and two on the year. He has faced 78 shots and saved 69. Hill goaltending has been strong. They have been averaging, giving up just two goals a game. So. And really, the only game that really was an anomaly was the Medfield game, Mike. That was, I think, six to two, something, six to to two. The, something yeah. like that. And other than that, the defense and goaltending has been pretty good this year. All right, the faceoff is won by uh, the Clockers, but then it's taken away, and it could be a three on two. Here's Voki. He's got that deadly shot, but he passes, and he tried to hit Saperosius instead. Saperosius avoids the check. Now he's at the circle. 
Now he throws it down to Koshev, who's wearing a number 13. And you don't get your name in the paper if you don't come with your uniform. It's a wrister that goes wide. And the Clockers cannot get it out. Volke now has checked off the puck, and Jackson Horning takes it away. Red line it goes, but now Ashland counters back to the blue line. It comes Merrill now. He says a little bit of a three on two shot, and McGrath makes a save. He paddles it over into the goal line, and now it'll be chipped out. Nice play by Koshev. Here's Saporosius. And Volke, oh, he was looking to tee it up, but he just couldn't get the handle on it. Now it's a bouncing puck, and it's knocked down in front. And by one of the clockers, he ices it. He doesn't believe he iced the puck, but he did. <laughs> he looks at the referee and waves his hand at him. <laughs> like to say, that's not icing. Um, oh, it is son, icing. you were at the circle <laughs> when you let that go. 8.01 to go in the game. The Hillers leading 3-0. There's a shot. Bearer makes a save. Loose in front. Oh, chip and try is also a save, and now it's a goal. And I think 23. it's either Abbott or Simos that got it, but it was chipped up. 22. Yes, that'll be Will Abbott if it's that's the if that's the case. Yep. Yeah, it's 22. We are reading. Looks like the referee from Hopkinton is Jeff Merzel, and looks like he said 22. So if it is 22, that's Will Abbott, and that is his seventh goal of the season. And his, that will be a two-point game for him. So Abbott will now jump up to 18 points on the season. And if that was his goal, icing against the Hillers. And so they lead 4-0 with 7.45 to go in the game. McCluskey now to Temple. Into the game also is the other Mr. Koshev. Henry Koshev's in the game. He wears 23. So on the ice is McCluskey, Koshev, and Nick Temple. And the faceoff controlled by the Clockers. Cole Tadeo throws it up the board, but Henry Koshev is there to try to keep it down on the board, and he does. Now it's a two on two battle there in the corner. I'm uh, sorry, on the sideboard, rather. And now three players for each team come over. And now it's McCluskey that comes away with it. He throws it across ice. Allen comes down and pinches, throws it down the goal line. McCluskey has it. McCluskey trying to hit a man coming down the middle, but it was defended nicely. McCluskey gets it back now, avoids a check. Koshev now tries to get a stick on it, but he can't. McCluskey throws it back into the far corner. Temple avoids the check. It's at his feet, though, and now he's checked by Tadeo, round the board it goes. Allen now throws it down to the goal line. Hillers are cycling pretty well here. Puck, not out. Allen does a nice job, puts his glove and knee down, and this time that thing is launched down the length of the ice and it will be icing against the Clockers. Hillers leading four nothing. First time these two teams met, the Hillers beat them eight nothing. And Mike, we were commenting off air, the. Clockers really have improved. They look a little bit better. They look a little better. Their passing got a lot better. Um, and, you know, just thank goodness for a great goaltending by Barra. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're 100% you're right. This would be a different game without Owen Barra. And Hillers race in. That's how the Clockers race in. Stick save. Knocked down by Pickens now. And he is going to get... There's going to be a penalty. It looks like. Nope, it's a face-off. I don't know what the call was there. It must have hit the net. Hit the net. The protective netting behind the net. The goal, rather. And Owen Delaney chips it forward. Now Sloan now goes in and gets it. Sloan is checked into the boards. In front, good pass. Beer has to make a save. Hornung throws it out to the point. 
Karpensky, Rister on goal and a save. Bearer right there for the shot. There's a penalty coming up against the, the clockers. And to the penalty box. It'll be Jackson okay. Hornig. He's going to get called for the hooking, and so the Hills will go on a power play with 5.57 to go in the game. The Hiller power play this year has been four for eight. Rolf shot and a glove save by Barra through traffic. I'll tell you, there in front of the net was Simos and Finlayson, and then two players for the Clockers, and somehow Owen Barra gloved that cleanly. Right. He fought his vision through traffic to the point now. Rolf keeps in cross ice. Karpensky steps into the shot. No, he actually threw a sh shot pass that he tried to hit. Abbott coming down the, the right side. Karpensky comes back and defends. Now Everett, Rolf with the puck. Rolf with a three on two. Rolf in this, the blue line. And Abbott now circles. Abbott. Cross ice it goes. There's a player without a stick, one of the clockers, and it's uh, Cole Tadeo. He picks it up, though, and a slap shot by Rolf, and it's a save. Another save through traffic by Owen Bira. Well, I didn't get to see the Medfield goalie or the Medway goalie so far, but I would say that Owen Bira is one of the top goalies in the TVL. I'd have to agree just from what I see to him with. And he's getting tons of traffic, uh, tons of shots through traffic. There's a wrister that goes wide, bounces off the glass and comes back out. The Hillers have 30 seconds to go on their man advantage. Rolf comes down now, chips it to Finlayson. Finlayson throws it off cross ice, trying to hit Simos, sliding down, but Stephen was just a little bit beyond the spot. And the Hillers look to mount a charge with 13 seconds to go in the power play. Rolf gets the blue line. Rolf, Rister, shot and a save. Stick save. Karpensky down, shot, bouncing puck, another save. Back in try is a save also. Finlayson to Karpensky. Now Finlayson takes it back. And he's dancing around with the puck. Good move. Now he, oh, right, pretty move there. And now the penalty is over to the clockers. Karpensky now back checks the play. Off the sideboard it comes. Finlayson tries to chip it to himself and he does. He's got success. He throws it in front. Oh, and a nice feed. And Simo scores. Oh, what a nice pass by Finlayson. He gave it to Simo. He was on the crease area and he just jammed it in for the fifth goal of the night for the Hillers. And for Steven Simos. And that is his seventh goal of the season. And for Mr. Finlayson, and that is his 12th point for sure that we know of on the season. Cam Finlayson with a beautiful pass. Good vision, backhander, and a glove save by McGrath. Great vision there, Mike, to see Simos parked in front. And Steven wasted no time. He just... One timed it in, One -timed and it, yeah. with 3:52 to go, a turnover by the Hillers, bouncing puck, and McGrath has to make a save. And there to get it is Coveney. Coveney winds it around the board, but don't get out. As the Hiller forward was late to get to it. Now it's still loose in front, backhanded. It's blocked in front by Coveney. A little bit of uh, extracurricular down there. Here comes Saporosius with speed. Saporosius and offside is Vokey as he couldn't hold the blue line. A little bit of an extra move before entering. <laughs> you know, the winger tries to time that, but once you make a move with the puck, it usually drags your opponent, your uh, teammate off sides. Face off one by the clock, or uh, the uh, Hillers as they have to go back. Coveney now throws it hard, but it, nobody was there for Hopkinton. Now Carp uh, Saporosius comes down to get it. Coveney now throws it hard back to Dan Delaney, but goes over his stick. And the clockers to the point it goes. Rister blocked in front. 
by one of the Hillers. Saporosius chips at the center, but it hits the net, actually didn't get out, so it'll be a face-off inside the Hiller zone with 2.54 to go. Next up for Hopkinton will be Dover Sherborne on Saturday in Natick. And then the Hillers will be back home the following Wednesday against Assabet. Central Division team. And the Hillers are going to pick up two more points tonight. And they are going to go to 18 total points. And there's a whistle. And there's going to be an interference against Nick Temple. He's going to go to the box. And the clockers will go on a power play now. Face-off won by the Clockers to the point. Horning now throws it down low. And it gets to Merrill. Loose in front. Back a shot and a save. And a glove after the initial save. The thing initially popped up with McGrath blocking it first. And then he gloves it out of the air. Yeah, that was a nice save. And one of the coaches on the Hiller bench was yelling instructions. The Hillers. Nice win by a faceoff win. Now has a break in now. Delaney tries, I mean, uh, Linkus tries to get it to Delaney, but he can't. And now the clockers break in. Anderson takes a shot and it goes wide. And you can ice it because you're down a man, and the Hillers do. With two minutes to go in the game, Hopkinton up 5 0. The clockers on a 55 second power play. Or I should say left in their power play. Good move by Bocelli, throws it back to the point, but out of the zone it comes, and it'll roll down between the circles. Here's Horning, Jackson Horning. And it's taken away by McCluskey. McCluskey breaks in. McCluskey avoids the check. And he just throws it down the board, and he keeps it on the board. Good penalty kill. 25 seconds to go in the power play for the Clockers. And they are confused trying to get out of the zone. Now they do. There's a coin, and he is checked. And here comes a break-in, and it's a break-in. Fokoshev takes a shot, and a blocker saved by Bera. He came out and met Alex Koshev. Here's Pickens. The penalty to the Hillers is over. Temple comes on. In the box, he comes on the ice. Karpensky looking to get a shot. Blocked down in front. And it could be a break-in for the Clockers as Michael Berman now skates in. Berman put some pressure on Pickens. Pickens, cross ice it goes to Karpensky. And up ice it goes to Temple. And Koshev tries to keep it in, he does with a skate. Temple chips it down beyond the goal line. 25 seconds to go in the game. And a puck loose in front, Barrett tips it away and not out. Karpensky keeps it and takes a wrister shot and it's saved by Barra and he holds on with 14 seconds to go in the contest. It is January 20th, 2016 and the Hillers will increase their record to eight, uh, nine and two and that will give them 18 points. Two points away from the magical number to get to the tournament. And I've been probably announcing Hopkinton hockey for 10 years or so, and I've seen nothing like this from any Hiller team where they have added to their point total tonight with a 5-0 victory over the Clockers. It's Hiller. definitely a first for me in my short time, Mike. Yeah, it's uh, good so far, but you got to stay focused even after you win this game. You got to 
get it over with. And the two teams are going to handshake. Well, that's going to wrap up HCAM's coverage of Hopkinton High School hockey. For Mike Terosian, our cameraman slash color announcer. Oh, a little fill-in. <laughs> <laughs> More like fill-in, Mike. I'll take that. I'm Mike Prate, where once again the final score, Hopkinton 5, Ashland nothing. Thanks for watching, everybody.